Hey, I'm Jasmine, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're gonna do a piercing experience story time for the Forward Helix. And I'm also gonna show you guys some cute new stud piercings that I picked up because the last time I bought um, from studs was six months ago and my huggies were like starting to get a little textured. It wasn't rusting and I had to clean it more often. The texture was a little bit more bumpy so that's when i knew that i had to get some new huggies i wish that they lasted longer but they're also not like real real gold they're gold plated and that's just my current mood right now is gold but yeah my piercing videos do really well on my channel um they get really searched a lot and they keep like being in like the top most viewed of my channel every month so videos and i hope that you guys stay for the fashion content the lifestyle content reviews other reviews and everything because my channel is not just about piercings let's get up excuse the messiness back there but this is the forward helix that i got i got it when did i get it i think i got it mid-december yeah i got it mid-december so it's been about two months which is a pretty good amount of time. You know, it's like perfect for me to film this video so I can tell you guys how it's been healing and everything. The pain of this piercing, I'm gonna rate it out of five. I think I'm gonna give it a two out of five. It honestly wasn't that bad. It stung a little bit, but- Most piercings do sting. But this one was honestly really not that bad. Piercings that really hurt, not hurt, but like that stung the most. And I really felt it was my conch right here because the cartilage is so thick on this conch and when i got my septum in college a long time ago and i have that video on my youtube if you guys want to see my septum that one hurt and that like it, it affected my lips like my lips were tingly and felt a little numb my day didn't hurt at all and it pierced really nicely i mean it healed really nicely this one obviously it, it isn't cartilage so it was just like any other low piercing um my rook wasn't that bad it did take a while to heal my conch hurt the most and it took a really long time to heal and they kept getting like bumps my tragus didn't really hurt but it took a long time to heal i kept getting like the nasty pussy pussy not pussy <laughs> pus filled bumps and they would go away and then they would come back and then they would go away and then they would come back um i feel like i'm almost like running out of real estate on my ears because I don't want to get too, too many piercings even though the 11 piercings that I have or 12 piercings that I have, people would think it's a lot. But I don't really, I think it's balanced really nicely. I think I am missing one more cartilage here, like mid cartilage, mid, what's it called, helix. Again, it didn't hurt that much, it stung just a little bit. Um, it's the tiniest little earring it's not too long so it doesn't like bother it hasn't gotten it's been like a, obviously a little sensitive and a little inflamed but it hasn't gotten any of those keloids or pus filled bumps or anything it's been healing quite nicely i clean it in the morning and at night with himalayan salt water and with filtered water it's just my own little solution and i find that that works best for my ears just natural like filtered salt water i think it's very very cute but if you notice i did cut my sideburns right here because i had so much hair so much hair right here like thick sideburns even though i do trim it down here i started trimming it up here because i couldn't see my piercing it's like well, what's the point of getting a piercing if you can't see it or what's the point of getting a tattoo if you can't see it in my eyes but i also know people love getting tattoos like in their backs and stuff and you can't really see it unless you're looking in the mirror i just really want to enjoy looking at my piercings when my hair is up or i tuck my hair in that's just me i do things like that so let me go over what i got from studs and they were having a sale and their piercings or their jewelry their earrings usually range from like 20 to 40 per earring and that's kind of a lot considering that it's not real gold and it's also tiny tiny earrings but they're still kind of good quality like they're not trash trash like it's not gonna irritate you but i saw that they were having a sale on the micro huggies 
and I got two of them teen about $16 each for these tiny micro huggies and I put one in the rook right here and it worked out perfectly because it is so small so it's not like a big chunky heavy earring on the rook piercing and I got the same one for my tragus because it also has like a little cute little diamond flowery thing at the top right there so I think it looks really cute and I think this is a very different look for the rook because usually it's just a bar. So that one was the CZ Flower Helix Huggy in gold slash clear. I got a macro or micro, the tiny, the tiny um, mac, mac, micro pave helix huggy in gold clear because again, I'm obsessed with gold. This one's a tiny bit bigger and I just needed a huggy for my date tiny simplest micro one that they had i just wanted it to be very small and it has like a cute little cute little um crystal detail right here i kind of wish it did go all around because you can't really see it how it's positioned in my ear so i wish it kind of went all around and it was decorated on this side too because the date lays lays flat this is the one i had and it was 22 dollars which I think is kind of pricey. Like this tiny little shit is $22. That's kind of a lot. And when I went to my piercer and I told him that I was getting pier um, jewelry from studs because he asked me where I bought it. He started like talking mad shit about studs. <laughs> like they don't pierce people right and how their quality isn't that great or whatever. But I, I kind of still like their jewelry because it's still really cute. Like they have really cute pieces. And then I got a... I needed to get I needed um, a certain amount of money to get like a free gift so I was looking for the cheapest thing that they had on the website and the cheapest thing was this peace hand charm so it's actually not an earring right here this little piece this little peace sign right here so you can put it on every earring that you have you can even put it on hoops and have it like dangly but um I just use this palm tree also from studs this little palm tree and I put the charm on top and I think it looks really cute and the palm tree matches with Jamaica that I'm gonna go to and the piece is just like super cute but it was nine dollars so that was like the cheapest thing they had on their website and then I got a free gift added to my order um, and it retails for $22 and it's an XO stud so they have different like cute earrings with sayings and I put it in my conch right here right here says EXO super cute and I also have my initials J and M for Jasmine uh, Melissa okay and then um, from my old studs review from last summer I have this love charm and I had had to clean it like two times I feel like you know I think it's good practice just the touch up your your earrings and clean them like every month or two with some alcohol and some soap just to get rid of all the gunk but it's love and then this chain comes separately also from studs and I attached it to the love and this little J for Jasmine. I love my jewelry my decor my earring decor um that's pretty much it I hope you guys like this video Please let me know if you have tried studs before or if you want to try studs after watching this video. Please comment down below because I love hearing from you guys and it makes me motivated to continue to do more videos. Um, and yeah, have an amazing day and don't forget to check out my channel for other cool videos.